सो लेट अस सॉल्व द फिफ्टी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ जेटिली सेकेंड एडिशन सो द क्वेश्चन गिवज अस थ्री वेव फंक्शंस साई फाई एंड काय एंड इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव टू वेरीफाई इफ दीज वेव फंक्शंस आर द आइगन फंक्शंस ऑफ द ऑपरेटर ए इन द सेकेंड पार्ट वी हैव टू डू द सेम बट विद द ऑपरेटर बी दैट इज प्लस and in the third part we have to calculate the actions of a cap b cap and b cap a cap on the wave function and we have to conclude something for the commutator of a and b okay so let us start with the first part so a cap is partial derivative of x plus partial derivative with respect to phi now for psi that is sin 2x cos 5x a cap sorry now a cap psi is nothing but applying this partial derivative d by dx plus d by dy to psi which gives us d by dx plus d by dy sin 2x cos 5x okay and if we just go on to separate this separate this over two trigonometric functions over here we will get nothing but d since it's there is no y term so d by dy will always be zero now d by dx of sin 2x cos 5x we get now applying the differentiation rule for the products we have cos 2x cos 5x to 2 minus 5 sin 2x sin 5x so this is nowhere equal to psi right even if we do some kind of uh, uh work on the mathematical of trigo there is no way it's equal to psi so this is not an eigen function of a so psi is not eigen function similarly we do the same process on phi that is a cap phi we get d by dx plus d by dy into e to the power minus 2 x square plus y square we get minus 4 x minus 4 y e to r minus 2x square plus y square and this is some function dependent on x and y and this is phi but this function itself depends on x and y so even phi has not eigen function of a cap and finally we do a cap chi d by dx minus i x plus y 
minus 2i so this is some constant value so yes chi is eigenfunction of a cap so i hope you get the idea on how to do uh, how to see if a given function is the eigen function for the operator so i have done the first part uh, the second part seems bit complicated but believe me it's not you can go ahead and try this at the moment i am not dealing with the second part because that will be too long for the video so please do try this this is quite interesting but and the last one we have to see we have to calculate the operators a b cap work uh, working on any of the wave functions and see what are the results if we apply uh, a cap b cap and when we apply b cap a cap all right uh, at the moment that, that doesn't make sense what what will be the outcome but uh, you will appreciate when you wait, wait, wait for a minute and see what comes in a minute so a cap b cap when applied on psi or uh, let me take uh, instead of psi let me take chi because that is sort of more real function and uh, that that date makes quite more sense so i'm just out of uh, no more choice i'm taking chi as a first choice so a cap b cap working on psi so we have operator a cap and then b cap working on chi this is the property of operator so we put the value of operator d square by dx square plus d square by dy square plus 1 to chi let me put the value of chi over here e to the power minus i x plus y and uh, so for the double differentiation of e to the power minus i x plus y with respect to x square we will get minus i square and even for y we will get minus i square and plus 1 into e to the power minus i x plus y and i square is nothing but minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 we get minus a cap e to the power minus i x plus y and over here we have calculated what is the value of a cap on chi that is nothing but minus 2i chi so we have minus into minus 2i into e to the power minus i x plus y that is 2i into chi now we go and calculate now we go on calculating the b cap a cap working on chi so we will do the same process and uh, we know the value of a cap and chi oh sorry this is okay that is nothing but minus 2i chi all right now we will apply b cap on chi from here we can see that the value of when b cap is applied on chi we get nothing but a minus 1 so that is minus 2i minus 1 chi that is nothing but 2i chi all right now uh, from the 1 and 2 
let me write one and two together one and two together as ab applied on chi gives i gives us two chi cap and b a applied on chi gives us two i into chi in the third chapter of zetili you will come across a notion of complete set of commutating vectors so this one is quite related to this so when you go towards that section do come to this particular question and you will see what is the importance of complete set of commutating vectors okay now we will subtract 1 we will subtract 2 from 1 so that is 1 minus 2 we can see cap b cap minus b cap a cap and working on chi we get on the left hand side or on the right hand side both are equal so we will just reduce them to zero and a cap b cap minus b cap a cap working on chi gives us zero chi so equating the left and right hand side a cap b cap minus b cap a cap equals to zero vector which implies a and b to zero that is a and b commute so that is one good inference that we can see after going so much of trouble for part c so i hope you understand the solution you can go for all the other wave functions as well and you will find the relation between the commutator of a and b and that is it for the particular question i hope you would find this very useful or for your solution thank you